Are you ready for the next 100x potential, maybe even a 1,000x potential altcoin gem running under the radar? You've heard of play to earn. You've heard of GameFi. You've heard of NFTs. This has it all. Remember, we only do probabilities here, never certainties. Do your own research. Do your own risk management. But today, I think I found a gem for you. So if you like today's video, like, subscribe, hit the bell notification. If you don't know me by now, my name is Jiggy. I'm the award-winning author of the extraordinary new venture capital. Venture capital, opportunity, invest like a pro. How to invest like a pro. Venture capital meaning high risk, high reward. I was also featured in the best-selling book, High Probability Trading Strategies, back in 2008. Mainly focused back on trading currencies, but really now focused on crypto. So are you ready? Are you ready? We're going to dive in. I've got a whole presentation for you because we need to look at the fundamentals, what's been happening, the timing of the market, GameFi, like the amount of interest in finance, in gaming, where you can play a game and earn money, earn crypto, earn NFTs and use NFTs, a whole different tokenomics that's just coming into the space like never before. Are you ready? All right. Remember, probabilities, never certainties, right? Remember that, remember that. All right. Let's dive straight in. So the altcoin gem, potential, 100x, maybe 1,000x, no certainties, just probabilities, is Alemium Finance. Allium. Allium in Latin means difference or different, right? And it's been around for a little while, but running under the radar. But we are going to look at who are they, what are they, why have they been running under the radar, timing of the markets, how are they introducing GameFi into their ecosystem to, accust, to acquire customers? It's pretty phenomenal what they're building. They're on the, <laughs> it's phenomenal. I'm, I'm excited to share this with you. So Alimium Finance. I think I'm pronouncing it right. Alimium or Allium. Allium. They're on PancakeSwap, so it's only on decentralized exchanges. They were listed there a little while ago, back in May. But they've been building and they've been working hard. So who are these guys? Well, first of all, what the heck is GameFi? Have you heard of GameFi? You heard of DeFi, Decentralized Finance. But this is a new thing. This new is, is really trending right now. A lot of money coming in for GameFi. Finance in games, leveraging non-fungible tokens, NFTs, where you can earn money playing games. Yes. And one of, well, what Alemium Finance have done, we're going to cover the full circle, is they originally started out as a DEX, cross-chain DEX, automated market maker, but recently, they are launching Cyber City. They're GameFi game. They've got partnerships. They're doing some phenomenal things. Next generation play to earn game powered by Alemium Finance. So we're going to talk about the tokenomics. We want to understand this. We want to have a look at GameFi, first of all. Just the basics, just the high level. Because it's a new space. It's a new space. So the category king in GameFi that's really been taking some amazing traction over the last few months in the last year is Axie Infinity. Axie Infinity is currently a top 30 cryptocurrency. Top 30. Yeah, game. Yeah, top 30. Right? I think it's nearly like an $8 billion market cap. It has two tokens. It has the Axie token and it has the SLP token. Uh, I think it's Smooth Love Potion. Smooth Love Potion, you can earn in the game. Let me pull out my laser. Let me pull out my laser because this is important. Right, because this whole new language here, right? We're, we're talking a whole new language, whole new economy that's being created. This is the token that you learn, or learn, earn in the game, and you can spend it in the real world. It's like real money. There's people in the Philippines that are doing this as a full time job, playing the game. And then for the tokenomics for Axie Infinity, my understanding is the Axie token is the governor's token, right? So everyone, every company has a different tokenomics platform. So what is Alemium Finance doing, right? So they have created now a second token. Well, it's not, it's not live on the market yet. It's going to be launched soon, but for their game fight, for their play-to-earn game. So Alemium Finance, the ALM token on PancakeSwap, is a big part of their game economy. So it's the core currency for the game. It has other utility as well for the DEXs and everything else. We're going to talk about that a little bit. But the main focus, my main interest, is this play-to-earn space that is booming right now. If you saw Game Zone, the uh, uh, they launched was it Crypto Polis, and that did like a I think it was a seventy x on day one. So it shows you the level of interest that's in this space. So core currency of the game. So these are some of the tokenomics or the utility. It's already on the market. It is at a discount, people. 
Oh my lord, I'm gonna show you because they did an IDO and it's under for when I'm filming this, it's under the IDO price. It's, un it's insane. Center currency in the Elemium finance ecosystem. So, what's big about that is Elemium already has an ecosystem and they're adding Cyber City as a part of that ecosystem. So, it adds more utility to the Elemium token. So, the S, sorry, the SCYBR token, it's the game resource token. Emissions by ALM staking. Basically, the only way, the main way that people are going to be able to earn CYBR is to stake ALM tokens in the game, right? So when people are playing the game, they're going to need these tokens to stake. So that adds more utility to the ALM token. Right? Really, really important to understand. It's like, what's the tokenomics, the behavior? Earned by in-game activity, that's the CYBR, and earning land. Burning when spent in the game. If you're not familiar with gaming, look, I'm, I'm, to be honest, my wife's more of a gamer than I am. She plays these games and I'm trying to get her to play the play to earn games. I'm like, why are you playing all these games and not getting paid? Why don't you play the games and get paid? Like Axie Infinity, like when Cyber City goes live, play it. In fact, I showed this to her. She was like, oh, actually this looks very cool. I'm gonna show you a video later on of the game of what it's gonna look like. But the main thing here is the emission. So, so CYBR is you only get that really by staking, staking ALM. So it adds more utility. So when you think of the tokenomics, when you think of Axie Infinity, think of the Axie tokens as ALM and Axie Infinity. Jesus, the token, I'm gonna to show you the token price. It's gone through the roof. It's like, it was like 15 cents and now it's like $150 or, or thereabouts. And then the SLP token is the in-game token that's really important in the game itself, which we're gonna to touch upon. So. We're going to cover numbers first, right? Right. There's, we're only doing probabilities here, never certainties. We want to look at these numbers. So this is Axie Infinity. I'm going to show you some price data, the live chart. But what I wanted to show you is, because I was looking at Axie Infinity. I didn't invest in Axie Infinity. Should have, but I didn't. Back in March, right? And back in March, the price of Axie Infinity was around $1.56 per token. Today, well, today, well, it's peak. It's peak not that long ago. I think it was on... The 4th of October, it peaked, its current peak, was $150. That, my friends, is, excuse me, a 100x. It went from 70 million when it was down here in around seven months, seven months? Yeah, seven months, to $7 billion market cap. In fact, over 7 billion. That's a 100x, 10,000% in seven months in a bearish part of the market. Insane, right? Insane. But what most people don't realize, only what, around a year ago, maybe less than a year ago, Axie Infinity, the token, the governor's token, was 12, just around 13 cents back in November, November 2020. It's less than a year ago, it was 12 cents. But this is the thinking I want you to have when you're thinking of maybe participating in these projects. It's going from 12 cents to $12 is also a 100x, which is 10,000%. And that was achieved from November to roughly around May. November to May, what's that, five, six months? Right, 100x. So it's important to understand, you know, my book's called The Extraordinary New Venture Capital. And, and why, why, why I towered it that is like retail venture capital. You're getting really early, so the upside is much higher, but so is the risk. So you have to kind of manage your own risk. But it went from an 8 million market cap to an 800 million market cap in the space of six months, right? But also just know, there would have been a bunch of people that bought down here at around 12, 13, 14, 15 cents. And the price went to $150 and that's a thousand X, right? I'm not saying Elemium will necessarily do a thousand X or get to an $8 billion market cap. And it doesn't need to, to make really, really good gains but it just shows you how popular GameFi is right now and there's some really, really interesting things happening. So the question is, the question I had was, why has Alemium Finance been running under the radar? Like it did its IDO, had a nice little spike, didn't really do any major multiples, it wasn't that great, and it's just been sideways to down. Why? That's a big question, like why? And it's important and I have an answer for you. Well, first of all, today's market cap, Right, I had to do a lot of research because I don't think the, the token supply on coin market cap is up to date yet. So I think the from what I could research in the Telegram groups, etc., cetera, etc., cetera, I believe there's five million tokens in circulation. So based on today's price, it's around approximately 
$650,000 market cap under a million dollar market cap for a project that has a DEX, that has a working DEX and app. I'm going to show you some of those things. And now they've got a play to earn game built. They are now launching some things. I'm going to show you some things over here. And they're launching the game very, very soon, soon to come. So for Axie, and sorry, not Axie, for Elemium Finance, the core currency of the token of the project to do 100x, it only needs to do 65 million market cap. Is that a lot? I don't know. But it's 1% of what Axie is today, right? When you're just kind of doing your own due diligence. I, I'm, I'm going to show you some risk management at the end as well, because I think a lot of people get too aggressive, too aggressive when they're, when they're buying, uh, especially if you're just speculating, right? So from a price perspective, it means if today's price is around 13 cents, give or take, you might see, I put in brackets 30 cents because the price tends to move quite fast with young projects. Uh, to get 100x, the price only needs to go to $13 to $30, give or take, depending on your buying. So just kind of get those numbers into your mind. So what is the deal here? What, what's been happening with Elemium? Why has it been running under the radar? Well, believe it or not, Elemium Finance actually did an IDO, initial DEX offering, on the Binance Smart Chain pad, the BSE pad. Yes. Yeah, here it is. Look, here it is. Bang. I participated in the Alemium Finance IDO. And as an IDO, it didn't perform well. Like it didn't, it didn't do like 10x, it didn't do 100x, it didn't do, I think it just did 50%. And then it went under the radar. But why? Right? Well, let's just look at some things, right? So May 18th, they actually did their IDO. Their IDO was on BSE pad. The IDO price. The token price, the listing price was 31 and a half cents, right? Today's price is around 13 cents. So it's running at a 60% discount than its IDO. I don't know what the price is going to be when you see this, but it's like a third of the price of when it was IDO. But the question is like, why, why? Well, I was looking at all the IDOs during the months of April, May, June, July, and 90% of IDOs didn't perform well. Because what I try and teach people is timing is everything. So I want to just kind of bring this into the context and perspective, because people don't have perspective, is this is a Bitcoin chart. Bitcoin chart, price analysis. And, you know, we've had this amazing move to the upside, and then we've had this really bearish period, and now we've getting some positive moves. <laughs> When is the worst time to list an IDO? To do an IDO it is during pessimism, right? And guess what? This was pessimism phase. All this phase here, it panics the market. There's fear, uncertainty, and doubt. And Bitcoin, crypto, fear, everything tanked. 50%, 60%, 70%, 80%. Guess when Alemium Finance's IDO listed? Unluckily, it was right in this zone. Well, luckily for us today, but unluckily for them, Back in May, May 18th, it was during this very bearish period of this market. I actually did a video on this. I did a video on this. You may have seen it. It was on August 26th. You can still watch it. It says, how to make a 1000X in crypto using Launchpad. Three things you must know to avoid losing money. And what I said in the video was when markets, like Bitcoin in particular, because it's like an indicator for the rest of the market, but this was the total coin market cap of um, the coin market cap, the total market cap of the whole of the crypto markets was when we were making all time new highs during this pink box here, lots of optimism. Anything that was listing during this phase, it was like, what I, what I try and teach people is if you buy the best project in the world during the worst time, like the bad time, the bearish time, it will lose money more than likely. If you buy an average project during peak season, optimism, it will outperform great projects in a, in a bad season. So what I said in this video was, here was peak season. During this phase was a very bad season for IDOs, very bad season. And what I said in the videos is, the upside is if you're buying launch pads, they are going very cheap right now because IDOs are not performing. It's not IDO season. But guess where we are now? We're now starting to approach optimism again and the markets are picking back up. Where did Alemium Finance list during this period? It was during this very bearish period right? Very unlucky. It's just unlucky, right? It's just unlucky. Someone had to do it in this phase. Just unlucky. So it just went really under the radar, price tanked, and they've just been working behind the scenes. But now I think they're ready to re kind of pledge themselves and go boom. So what I'm going to show you here is because they've actually launched the app. It's on the iOS. It's on the Android app. They've got a DEX. I'm just going to show you some things over here because they've done a lot of work. 
but then we're going to talk about Cyber City, how that kind of links in with the tokenomics. So let's just see if this plays. So what, what are they doing here? The Lemium Finance. So this is the decentralized automated market maker Dex, Total Blockchain Support, NFT Marketplace, First Decentralized Exchange, Mobile App. Well, it's good, looks sexy. But again, it's a very competitive space. Like they've got some very cool things in their app. Smartphone, what I wanted to show you is here. So, right? So they built all this stuff here, right? It's cross chain, they've built it. They've, I think they said, uh, what did they say I think I've just missed it here. Here, Flow Blockchain Network supported for integrations are coming. So they're doing cross chain. But again, we know that's a very competitive space. But what else is happening in the space right now? Let's see if I can get it up. Oh, here we go. Is play to earn. Yeah. So look, I had the opportunity to actually speak with the CEO. I actually had a good chat with him and I kind of went, you know, what's, what's the deal here? And he said, look, we are now focusing our play to earn to add the community add some resurgence to this because the deck space is too competitive. It's too competitive. So what we're going to do now is look at Cyber City. Can I get off this page? Here we go. So Cyber City is the game that's been launched. I'm going to show you some things that they're doing here. Very, very cool. Very, very cool. So let's just play this video. I think it's like a minute video, but you'll see what they're doing, the play to earn space. <laughs> New era of play to earn, NFT games is already here. Open economy, tradable assets, or NFT. Cyberpunk, Utopia, Mega City, in partnership with some of these big cloud projects. Changing the play to earn gaming from farming, development, mining, characters. Then I show my wife here. She's like, love them. Hey. Engaging gameplay, community focus. Sustainable Pokemon, Pokemon, Pokemonic, 10,000 energy characters that have started launching already, 10 character types, 10 deadly weapons, 10 loyal companions, 10 epic times, fight, survive, and triumph in the cyber scene. Become part of the play to earn gaming future. Yeah. Look. To be honest, I'm not that much of a game. I used to be when I was a kid, more like the SNES. You know, that was my day. You know, Mario Kart on the, on the SNES. But this gaming space is unreal and a lot of people are playing games. But what we want to cover next, to get out of this, bang, is here's some of the things that ALM, Alimium Finance, have built. Built, working, functioning. They are launching their farming application so you can farm with for liquidity pools and earn 3,000% APY. I believe that's coming soon. What their roadmap is, what they've done, it's gonna kind of remind you what they've done. What they've done is they've done their farming launch, that was in September, successful. They are, they've done their cross blockchain swap. So this is for the DEX side of their business model. And in December, they are integrating with Avalanche and Solana. But now, this part is what excites me. The DEXs don't excite me that much because it's too competitive, you know. Pancake swap, DEXs, you got Uniswap, then you got CrossSwap. You know, we've seen the videos on CrossSwap. They're doing some amazing things here. And the Alemium Finance team have realized that and credit to them because most great businesses, there's a great book called Get Into Plan B. And what they realize in Get Into Plan B is Plan A is normally not the thing that succeeds, right? I don't know if you know the PayPal story. PayPal used to be, it was not Plan A, not Plan B, not C, D, E. It was, I think it was F, I think it was G, Plan G, because there used to be a, an encrypted Palm Pilot, but they just found that didn't work and they pivoted, pivoted, pivoted until they found the market that really hit and then PayPal became PayPal. So this is what they seem to be doing here. So what's the roadmap? Because we want to see what is happening with the project right now because what have we got to look, out, look forward to? So October, so we're in October now. Today's what? October 21st? Is it 21st? 21st. No, it's 22nd today. Jeez. 22nd, 22nd, right? I'm filming this. What time is it now? Uh, 11.45. Uh, by the way, if you want to get premier access to this kind of content, join my private Telegram group, take one of my courses, my free masterclass, and you'll get an invite to my private Telegram. They normally get premier access to YouTube content. So they are now doing the NFT box drops, right? Ten clans. We're going to cover that as well. Then, but you, you have to purchase them as a blind box. I'm going to show you this because I want to purchase one live. Uh, in November, the blind box gets unlocked. So it's like a kinder surprise. You don't know what you're going to get inside. You, you pay what it is. And then in November, a month later, it opens and you get to see what you get. So it's really gamified. 
And then version one, my understanding, version one of the game goes live in January 2022. They call it Underground Companion Races Launch. So here's the clans. So they've done a lot of partnerships, right? They got obviously the Alemian Finance, which is their decks. They got Polygon, they got Liquid NFTs, which is pronounced Liquidity, I believe. Hyper Jump, NFTB, Blind Boxes, which is a big project. So we are now going to do a Cyber City purchase. We're going to purchase one of the NFTs. Look, I spoke to one of their team, Mikhail. They actually reached out to me. Love what they're doing. I just said, look, I'm an investor in you guys. I've invested back in the IDO, but it's just been sitting dormant. And they wanted me to show you how to purchase an NFT. I said, yeah, that's fine, because I'm going to do a video anyway. 0 0.9 BNB, they sent me to buy this. So we're going to now go buy an NFT. So if I can click on this, let's see if I can get rid of this later, laser. If I can get rid of this, boom. Here we go. Okay, pen, bum, bum. Yes. So we're going to go to liquidity. Liquidity, I've struggled to pronounce that. Games, we're going to go down to Cyber City, click on this. Now, I've bought a few NFTs before. I'm not that big into NFTs, but I bought a lot on VV, I bought a lot on Ecomi. We are going to now buy, well, here's the options, right? Cyber City. Now, what you need to understand, this is a new space. I'm still learning this space. With Axie Infinity, I actually loaded the game and I'm playing the game Axie Infinity because I just wanted to understand play to earn. And some of the Axies, which are NFTs in the game, are expensive. Like they used to be $20, now they're $100, some are $1,000. Some are like 10 Ethereum, which are like some of the Axies are worth $30,000. Some are worth even more than $30,000. You can breed them, you can do all these clever things. So what happens with these NFTs in the game, the more things that occur, the more battle powers they kind of create, the value of those NFTs can appreciate in value as well. So they're not just digital art, they actually have a utility in the game. So today's price, the purchase price of this NFT box, we're going to buy this one on the right, but we've got the Gigabox, uh, 3.15 BNB, we've got Medium Box, and we've got the Small Box. So we're going to click on this Small Box. I haven't purchased one before, so I'm just going to purchase it live. So we've got this. So what do we get? We get we get one character and we get one city block. So we're going to get some land in the game in Cyber City. So we're going to get a city block in Cyber City and we're going to get one character. But we're not going to see what we get. We just know we're going to get a blind box. So let's just click this by yeah, 0 0.9 BNB. There's a commission. That's fine. That's fine. Let's click buy. Connects to my MetaMask. Yeah, that should be fine. It's on the Binance Smart Chain. So let's see if this goes through smoothly. So this, according to the roadmap, I will see what I get in November. And then in January, I'll be able to use this in version one of their game. Congratulations, you have bought the NFT. It will appear in your items soon. The process might take up to 30 minutes. All right, go to my NFT. So here you go, here's my NFT. That's it, that was it. I got my NFT. It's not showing me what it is because we don't know what it is. So there you go, there you go. We just bought an NFT, guys. It's uh, what's it gonna be worth later on, I don't know, I don't know. But here we go. So we've just got a small box NFT. But what they're doing, this was the same with Axie Infinity. You had to either breed them, you had to buy them. I bought three Axie Infinities and I had to pay 400 to $500 for three Axie Infinities to play the game. Yeah, and that's how the whole tokenomics work. So what are some of the other things that gives me, again, we do probabilities here, never certainties. Probabilities, never certainties. So we want to look at the roadmap. So Alemium Finance, right? Alemium Finance, their roadmap. I'm going to look at Q4. They've got a roadmap. If you go to their website, Alemium Finance, from March, you can kind of read all their story up until today. But what I want to focus on is Q4, because we're in Q4. What's happening right now? Well, right now is the INO. Initial NFT offering, and it's happening on, I think it's 10 platforms. Uh, we just looked at one of them. So this is important for us. Let me just pull out my laser again. Why? Because it adds interest. It adds interest. I've been reading their Telegram groups and kind of what's happening in that space. Initial NFT boxes sell for Cyber City. So we just bought that, right? We just bought that. November, we'll see what it is, but in January, we get to see what actually happens. But what's most exciting for me on this particular part of the roadmap, from a speculation standpoint, is 
CEX. If you don't know what that stands for, it stands for Centralized Exchange Listing. Now, I don't know which Centralized Exchange, but you may have experienced right now because it's only available on PancakeSwap. ALM token, Alimium Finance on PancakeSwap is a decentralized exchange. It's more difficult to use, right? It's another level. And most people are not willing to go through the learning curve to buy it on PancakeSwap. It's either they don't feel comfortable, they don't have the skill set, they're just going to wait for the public listing or the listing on the centralized exchange. Like the biggest ones would be like Coinbase, would be Binance, but there's loads of centralized exchanges. And what happens when a project lists on a centralized exchange, it just adds a load more volume to the buying of the token. It almost adds a whole new market that couldn't buy, don't know how to buy on PancakeSwap, but they do know how to buy on the centralized exchange. And the better the token does, the better the listing. So they haven't announced which listing, but the bigger the centralized exchange, the more volume that tends to drive, and it tends to be a really big news announcement when it happens. Q4 is when it's due. So we're coming towards the end of October. So we've got October, November, December. So over the next two, two months and a week, we should expect a centralized listing, which is exciting, which is exciting if you own the underlying token, which is AOM. And then Q1, the other big thing is the version one, you know, first game mode, Cyber C is launched. And to play the game, you need to stake your ALM token. So what does that mean? People are going to buy the token to get their NFTs and play the in-game currency. There's another thing that I was excited about. Because look, I, I just look, I try and look for information that gives me more certainty. Because there is no certainty here. It's all probabilities. So there's no guarantee. So you have to do your own due diligence. But on their website, on their documents, it says here, the investors in the project. Now, I'm an entrepreneur myself. I'm a business guy and I've raised funds before for my business at a 4 million post money valuation. And raising funds is tough. It's tough. So the very fact, if a company has venture capital or angel investors or private equity, that's a level in itself. And it doesn't just give you money. It gives you access to marketing, to partnerships, to coders, to developers, and so on and so forth. So there's quite a few of them. But the one that stood out for me was X Network Capital. So I just kind of checked them out, went to the website, pulled this up. What else have they invested in? Well, first of all, on their website, it said they also invested in BSC Pad. And BSC Pad is huge, huge. So I was like, okay, that gives me great confidence. But also from a play to earn perspective, they also were early investors from what I could see, Star Atlas. Star Atlas is a huge game on the Solana blockchain. Huge. Currently, I believe it's a 200 million market cap game, right? That's, that's a big deal. And it's only got launched, I think, in September. So it's only like a month or two old. A month or two young, should I say. And it's doing incredibly well. So when I see this kind of stuff, it just gives me extra probability that it's probably going to do well, as in the Illumium Finance has got a lot of backing. It's not... Last thing, last thing I wanted to finish on because look, I'm, I'm, I watch my, my private Telegram group. We've got nearly 100 people in there now. It's very vibrant. And there's all people at different levels, different levels. Newbies, people that are experienced. And what I try and just educate people on is risk management. Risk management. In fact, I'm going to read this quote first. I normally finish on a quote, but I'm going to read the quote in my book because it's so, so relevant. Because you've got to realize this particular project is less than 1 million market cap it is under IDO price. Now, the younger a project, naturally, the higher the risk. The less that is proven, even though they've built a DEX and they've got an app in the iOS store and the Apple store, and they're now launching their NFTs. We just bought one of their NFTs and so on and so forth. they got investors and backing. From a market cap perspective, it's still young and it has been under the radar. And then young projects, if, if it gets traction, the price can move, which means more risk. So you need to understand that and you have to take full responsibility for your risk. So the quote of the day, which I'm going to read now rather at the end, you heard it before, is Warren Buffett. It says, rule number one, never lose money. Rule number two is never forget rule number one. Now, I don't care if you have a thousand percent belief in a project. It is good business practice to de-risk yourself. So when there's a young project, even with when we did CrossSwap, CrossSwap, when we did the video, the first, first video was under 3 million market cap. That was also applying to this. Cross Wallet was very similar as well. And this is even younger. It's less than a million market cap. But the reason, in my belief, is the timing of the market. It was just unlucky timing of the market. So what I want to cover here, and we're going to finish on this, 
is have your risk-free exit strategy. If you're participating with the ALM token, the core currency of the Cyber City game of the DEXs, and there's going to be some yield farming. I might do another video on that because 3,000% 3, 3, APY is insane. So I want to look into that in a bit more once that goes live. It's to choose your number. Right? I'm looking at my private community and sometimes people say they have their number, but then they change their mind. <laughs> and I'm like, geez, you know, you got to know that it doesn't always work out. So I participated in the Alemium Finance IDO and it went up 50% and then it just went down 60%, right? So that can happen even when there's an optimistic market. You just need to know those facts. So if you change your 5x to a 10x to a 20x to a 100x to a 3x, whatever it is, if in this example, a 5x is achieved, five times multiple. So the price goes from, I think I've run it out here. So you buy price and you exit one price. This is just good risk management. It's if it goes from 13 cents to 65 cents, which is a five times multiple, exit 20%. Even if you go, I believe in this. Yes, that's fine. But if it does 500%, take your money off the table. Or if it does 1,000%, which is the 10x, Take some money off the table. De-risk yourself. I'm saying this because I get a lot of questions in the Telegram group and YouTube. Your YouTube comments, I try and answer every single comment. And a lot of people are new to the space, new to any type of investing, let alone crypto, which is more volatile. So it's just getting good practice all of the time. If you get in a bit later, let's just say the price moves and it's 20 cents you buy and it gets to a dollar, which is also a 5x. We exit 20% out of dollar because that's still a very young market cap. That's like what um, a dollar will be five million market cap, right? Or oh, sorry, 20 cents will be a million market cap, right? Give or take. If you get a bit later at five with one dollar, well, that's still young. That's still a five million market cap, but one million to five. So if one dollar to five dollars is still a five X, right? So then you can just exit. Just ha what, I'm, what I'm getting across here because it, it frustrates me sometimes because people sometimes say they're going to do it and then they don't do it and then it doesn't work out their way. And, you know, it's... Just, just look after yourself is what I'm saying, right? And once you set it, set a price alert. I've done another video on exit strategies. It's important. It's very important. So whether it's 5x, 10x, 20x, whether it's 3x, whether it's 2x, whatever the multiple is, this is like I'm referring to as gross, like $1 to $5 is gross 5x, right? Hopefully that makes sense because a lot of people are too aggressive, right? You want to become millionaires overnight. I go, look, just relax a little bit and, and get some mechanical objective business plan in play. Anyway, hopefully, hopefully I didn't harp on too much about that. But that was the quote of the day. I might re-loop it at the end. So there you have it. Cyber City, next generation game, play to earn game, powered by ALM, Alemium Finance. What do you think? Do you think it's kind of lost its mojo or do you think it's going to resurge and actually because it's doing NFTs, play to earn, it's doing GameFi, it's going to kind of massively come back to life. I'm very interested to see how the gaming itself, because I played I played Axie Infinity, to be honest, it's not really my type of game because it's one of those um, kind of like Trump games, you know, you, your cards have power and you have to do certain things, you can battle each other. It's quite very strategic, but I've only played it a few times to be totally honest because I wanted to kind of get a feel for it. But this one is kind of like similar, but I know it's very, very popular. So let's finish on a quote. Okay, you said you've done the quote already, I know, but repetition is the mother of all skills. So let's just finish on this quote. Uh, like, subscribe, hit the bell notification, by the way, if you like this kind of content. So, Warren Buffett, we're going to repeat this one. Rule number one, never lose money. So remember, we only do probabilities here, never certainty, very, very important. Rule number two, never, ever forget rule number one. So there you have it, ALM, the next 100x, maybe 1000x, altcoin gem. What do you think? Do your own due diligence. Probabilities, never certainties. All right, I will see you very soon.